Should you walk on a treadmill or walk outdoors? Today, I'm diving into the key differences, benefits, and disadvantages of each. By the end, I will help you decide which one is the best fit for your goals. Dr. Walk. Hi, I'm Dr. Walk. Welcome to the first and only YouTube channel on the size of walking. Please hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Let's begin with the basics. Is walking on the treadmill different from walking outside? Well, there are real differences here. On a treadmill, everything is controlled. The incline, the surface, even the air quality. Treadmill walking is generally smoother and doesn't account for the wind or uneven ground. This can mean that you use less energy compared to walking outdoors, where you are constantly adjusting natural resistance from things like wind and rough terrain. For instance, studies show that setting a treadmill incline to around 1% can more closely simulate outdoor walking energy use by adding that little extra resistance. And when it comes to how our bodies move, walking on a treadmill often leads to shorter and less variable steps compared to the long and variable steps we make when adjusting to different outdoor surfaces. So while they are both walking, they are not quite the same for your body. So, what are the benefits and disadvantages of it? Just start with the treadmill walking. Controlled environment. You are safe from rain, snow or wind, and you can maintain a consistent workout without interruption. Reduced joint impact. Treadmills often have some shock absorption, which is easier on your joints. Workout tracking. It is easier to control and measure your speed, incline and intensity on a treadmill, which is great if you are aiming for specific fitness goals. But treadmills aren't perfect. Less calorie burn without incline. Since you are not fighting wind or navigating bumps, it's easier. You may burn fewer calories unless you add incline. Limited engagement with nature. It can feel repetitive and lacks the fresh air and scenery you get outdoors. Access and cost. Not everyone has access to a gym or wants to invest in an at-home treadmill. Now let's look at outdoor walking. Natural calorie burn. Wind, uneven surfaces, and natural resistance mean you burn a few more calories without even thinking about it. Mental benefits. Fresh air, trees, or even city views can make your walk enjoyable and boost mental well-being. Functional fitness. Navigating real terrain is great for balance and can engage different muscle groups, especially those in your legs and core. But outdoor walking has its own drawbacks. Unpredictable weather and safety. Bad weather or icy sidewalks? Not ideal. Plus, outdoor walking may not feel as safe for everyone, depending on time of the day and location. Harder on joints on rough surfaces. Walking on concrete or rocky paths can be tougher on your knees and ankles. So people with joint issues may need to choose their path carefully. So which one should you use? Well, it depends on your goals and what's accessible to you. If you are rehabbing an injury or have sensitive joints, a treadmill softer surface could be your best friend. Looking for a higher calorie burn and mental refresh? Head outside, especially on a very trail or path. For people who want consistency, pick what you enjoy the most and keep up regularly. Consistency is key when it comes to health. At the end of the day, both treadmill and outdoor walking are beneficial. So you can't go wrong. Just find what works for you and keep moving. Thank you for watching and until the next video, let's keep walking. Dr. Walk.